So things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a bottle of water. You may need some gloves. If not, you can use some chalk. And what you're gonna need is a towel. Last and not least, a kettlebell. Okay, we always start with a joint mobility exercise and we're gonna get that uh, going here right now. So first we're gonna rotate my right arm. Two, three, four, five. Other way. Two, three, four, five. Other arm. So I like to clap my body, wake up the nervous system. You might hear your back crack when you're doing that. Now we're gonna twist. Hands on the hip. Now we're gonna rotate the hip. Big circles. Just gonna get your hips going. Basically warming up your joints. We're gonna go the other way. As I've said in previous videos, you can do this every morning. And now we're gonna rotate our trunk here. You'll feel a pull on your hamstrings when you're doing this one. Breathe out, in through your nose, out through your mouth. We'll go the other way. I'm breathing out at the bottom. One more. Now we'll get our hands together, hands on the knees, and we rotate. You might hear a little bit of uh, crackling here. No worries. But if you do this regularly, you will not hear these cracks. There's the toes now. So here we're working the ankles. Just rotate it, three rotations either way. Rotate the other leg. Just basically put your toe on the ground and make circular motions. Hands on the hip, neck. Don't force this movement, just slight. Turn as far as it goes. And then up and down. So we're warming up the whole body. Three or four reps. Let's rotate the shoulders back. So this engages your traps and your shoulder muscles. Four, four back, we'll go forward. Left forward. Okay, so now we go stretch the wrist. So this will help to stretch your forearms muscles. As, as you know, when you use kettlebells, it's all bells are in your hands. So here, we're stretching them out. Dynamic stretch here. So your fingers do not get tight. This one you might have a little difficulty with first, but the more you do it, the more flexible you will be. And that's it. We're patting out the body. Skin is the biggest organ, so we wake up the skin. Now we're ready to do our kettlebell workout. So I'm gonna explain the ergonomics of your body while doing the basic kettlebell swing. When we do a kettlebell swing, we are going to do a hinge at the hip. So the closest thing I can relate to is a high jump. So this is the action that you're gonna use. High jump action. Here, I'll move to the side, show you. Down, like this. High jump. Okay, so I'm hinging at the hips. 
I don't want you to do this, and this is like a squat. I'm going straight down and up. Straight down and up. No, not correct. Straight down and up. That is not what we want. What we are looking for is a hinge at the hips. High jump. So I'm folded, hinging at the hips, lock my knees, squeeze my glutes, pull my kneecaps up to the side. I'm gonna do my high jump here, folded, hinging at the hips, lock my knees, lock, squeeze my glutes. This is the proper technique for your body. Okay, now we got our kettlebell in front of us. Your feet are just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, two and a half feet. And then you're gonna put the kettlebell in front of you and you're gonna form like a triangle. So here's the point, the top point of the triangle and then your feet are the base. So there's my triangle shape. Just imagine that right there. So I'm going to grab the kettlebell with both hands and lean it toward me. My head is neutral, not too much strain on the neck, and I don't want to look down at the ground. So here, I'm going to pull the kettlebell up above my knees and close to my groin as possible without hitting your groin. So we're going to try this here now. Up, there's my high jump, squeezing my glutes on the upswing, pulling my kneecaps. You can see I'm almost trying to jump off the ground. Arms are straight. The bow is parallel with my shoulders. And I'm breathing out on the upswing. Now from the side view. Shoulder width apart. Placing the kettlebell, making my triangle. Eyes forward. Here's my high jump. So back, thrusting my hips, squeezing my glutes, tightening my abs, pulling up my kneecaps, swinging the bell to about my shoulder height, and breathe in, out, on the upswing. Kettlebell swing. Okay guys, now we're gonna amp it up a little bit, incorporate a little bit more cardio into this. So we're gonna step forward and back. So what you wanna do is, when the bell is here, airborne, that's when you're gonna move. So just to show you without the bell, I swing up, step forward. Back down, swing back up, step back. Now we're gonna go forward and back, step in. You only need to step like a foot each, each time, forward and back, one. Just step in when the bell is airborne, when the bell is in line with my shoulders. This one requires a little bit more cardio, but you can add it to your routine. Of our kettlebell, basic. We're only using the swing in this video. Burn calories in your home just doing this basic exercise. Forward and back. Kettlebell swing. So again, guys, here we are. We just did step forward, step back. Job well done. So now we're gonna move on and we're gonna put this one side to side. So here I'll show you without the kettlebell, you're gonna swing when the bell is here, airborne, shoulder height. I'm gonna step with my left leg in, my right leg steps out. I'm gonna swing again, up, my right leg comes in, my left leg comes out. Swing. Now we're gonna do it with the bell. Both hands were on the bell. We're still doing our basic kettlebell swing. Now we're moving our feet. Here we go. 
So I'm hopping, or you can just step, step, step. If you want a little bit better, hop. That's it guys, this isn't easy. You're doing good, keep it up. Rome wasn't built in a day, so your body wasn't built in a day. We're gonna show you a side view. That's it, notice how I'm breathing heavier, but I'm not stopping. Won't stop, can't stop. Get it, get it. Kettlebell swing, side to side. Okay guys, so that was our step with our basic both hands on the kettlebell. Now we're gonna move on to single kettlebell swing with one bow. So I'm gonna form my triangle as we discussed in the earlier kettlebell swing. This hand, the hand without the bow, is gonna go with the flow of the kettlebell. So here we go. <laughs> Notice my left hand is going with the same flow as the right hand. It's not on my body, it's not holding my hips. It's full body exercise. One arm, kettlebell swing. That's it guys, you're doing good, good. Now we're gonna switch to the left hand. We're gonna do the left hand, 30 seconds. Same thing. We don't wanna keep our hands here on the body, on the hips, or anywhere. We're gonna use that range of motion. Here we go. That's it, guys. Keep it going. You're doing good. Just watch the video. Watch what I do. Do what I do. That's it. You know the saying, nothing comes easy, it's worth having. So you gotta work hard. And time. Single kettlebell swing. Okay guys, now we're gonna do our swing and switch. Uh, the movements after that is going to be the same movements that we just did with both hands on the bell, moving, stepping forward and back and side to side. But first we're going to show you the swing and switch, which is just like this. Swing, switch. Swing, switch. Swing. I'm just switching each hand off the bell. Just like that. Same swing, same hinge hip motion. Same pulling up the kneecaps, same tightening the abs, same getting the glutes, snapping them forward, squeezing them together on the upswing. And we are swinging to the shoulder. We ready? Okay, here we go. Swing and switch. Remember guys, my other hand, when it comes off the bell, flies behind and it comes forward I'm swinging shoulder height or nose level I'm still hinging still pulling up the kneecaps this is just a different swing and switch motion very basic we do this all the time in classes that I teach now you can do this in your own home We're going for one minute here. That's it guys, you're doing good. Keep it up. You might see some people turn their head like this. That's totally up to you. I personally like to keep it neutral. Okay guys, so now we're gonna move forward and back. Step forward, step back. Forward. When the bell is airborne, back. Hang time. That's when you move. When the bell's up. Try not to move 
when you swing the bell below between your legs, don't move then. Wait till the bar comes up like this. Up, move. Up, move. Up, move. There we go. Keep this going. Almost coming to the end. I'm gonna show you from the side view. Same hip hinge, no squat. Stepping forward and back. Time. Now we're gonna do our side motion with this same swing and switch. You're gonna do the same thing we were just doing. Now we're going side to side. Here we go. You can do it. Up, switch. Remember, leg comes in from the outside. And then the opposite leg goes out, like a pendulum. Takes a little bit of coordination, but it's not that difficult. If you are finding difficulty with this, try it without the bow. Then pick the bell up after and try it with the bell. You could also try a lighter weight bell. I'm using a pro bell, 25 pounds. And I'm getting a damn good workout, trust me. Still hip hinging, still pulling up my kneecaps, still squeezing my glutes together and tighten up my abs. Okay, and that's time. What a workout this thing is. Okay guys, now we're moving on. If you've done the previous seven exercises and you're still wondering why you should uh, use kettlebells, I don't know. You should get your mom, your grandma, your daughter, your son, your uncle, your aunt, Grandfather, grandmother, everyone you need to get on this kettlebell exercise is absolutely amazing and it will get you in the most best shape of your life. Trust me on that. Okay guys, moving on. So now we're gonna do a suitcase swing. Again, our feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with the bell at our right hand, in the right hand. And we're gonna go and do like a bicep curl. I'm gonna show you two variations of this one. Now we're doing a squat down. So here we go. Straight arm, squat down. Straight arm, squat down. So I'm just gonna do five reps of this. Here's the other variation. Now we're gonna do like a bicep curl. Here, squatting down. Now we try the left arm. Straight arm, this one squat straight down. Now with the bent arm, bicep curl. Doing good, guys. And that's, that's time. That's your single suitcase swing with the one arm right and then left. Okay guys, now we're gonna go into our combination swing. We're gonna use the right hand and I'm gonna show you briefly without the bell how this is gonna work. So our, our, our left hand is free. I got the bell on the right hand. I'm gonna swing, come up, when the bell is airborne, I'm gonna bring my right leg in. I'm gonna turn my right hand, palm facing up, do a back swing. And then I'm gonna come up, palm faces down, right leg steps back out, and I'm doing a swing again, single arm like we just previously did. Okay, now we'll try it with the bell. So I'll do a regular swing, one arm between the legs. I'm gonna bring my right leg in, Palm faces up, ready? Up, now my palm faces up, leg, right leg comes in. Palm faces down, right leg goes out. Palm faces up, right leg comes in, turn palm down, 
And that's what we're doing. Arm up, down. Right leg comes in and out. Up, down. So now we're gonna transition to left arm. Palm up, back swing, down between the legs. Palm up, back swing, down between the legs. There we go. Doing good, guys. Palms up, now palm down. Good. Now we're gonna put these together. So you're gonna have to watch this one. We'll try this for 45 seconds. Ready? Right arm we're gonna start with. Same thing, up, palm up, palm down, switch. Palm up, palm down, between the legs, switch. Between the legs, palm up now, back swing. Palm down between the legs, switch between the legs. Palm up, palm down, between the legs. Switch, between the legs, palm up. Palm down, switch, between the legs. Palm up, leg comes in. Palm down, between the legs. Palm up, right side. Palm down, between the legs. Switch, between the legs. Palm up, leg comes in. Down, between the legs. See this one, it's a combination swing, very exhausted, it's very good. And that's time, combination kettlebell single swing. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do our single arm swing out to the side. So this one's a little bit different we're gonna swing the bell out, I'll do it without the bell. Then when the bell comes in, we're gonna do a bicep curl. Then we swing the bell out, in. So we're gonna go out, in. Here we go. So I'm gonna start with my right hand, here, up, bicep curl, up, bicep curl, up, up, bicep curl, up. So this, if you want big guns, as in biceps, try this. This works also your shoulder. Now we're gonna go with the other arm. This is the left hand, up, up. Arch your arm when you swing it up a little bit as to not over extend. And time. Side to side bicep curl swing. Okay, guys, now we're going to move in to keeping the arms straight, which primarily works the shoulder muscles. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds and then we're gonna put all these exercises together to let you see exactly how we do. Push the bell. With the opposite hand. So you're not doing your bicep curl now. Just working that shoulder. And you're pushing that bell. Give you a little bit more momentum. So I'm going to switch hands. My left hand. Notice how I keep breathing. Tighten the abs. Even though I can't see you, I know you're working hard. Bell down. Okay guys, now we're gonna put all these kettlebell swings together. We're gonna call it our kettlebell flow. 
If yesterday wasn't the time, tomorrow's not gonna be the time. The time is here and the time is now. Okay guys, here we go. Let's try and keep up. Here's our kettlebell flow. Now we're gonna move into our forward and back. And step forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. You with me? Forward, back. We're gonna go into our side to side now. And there you go. Step, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Left leg, right leg, left leg. Now we go to our single arm, right arm. Notice how I'm taking deep breaths because I don't want to pass out. And oxygen is good for the brain. Okay, switch into our left side. There we go, single arm we're doing here. Stay with me, this is our flow. And this is how we do it. Now we're gonna go into our swing and switch. Stationary. Swing, switch. There we go. Keep it going, guys. I know this is hard. We're gonna go into our swing and switch, stepping forward and back. Here we go, forward and back. Forward and back. You gotta keep your eyes on the prize and back. And the prize is your health and your body, side to side, guys. Right leg, left leg. Right leg and left leg. You know what it is. After this, we're gonna go into our suitcase swing. Are you ready? And here it is. We're gonna go with the right hand. Here we go. And straight arm. One, we'll do three reps. Two, three. Now bent arm. One, two, I know this is hard. Three, now we're gonna switch. Left arm, but don't give up. Straight, ready? And one, two, three. Now with the bicep. One, two, three. There we go. So now we're gonna go into our combination swing. So we're gonna switch to the right hand, palm up, palm down. Switch, middle, left leg, up, palm down. Middle, down, palm, up now, right leg comes in, middle, switch, left leg comes in, palm up, turn palm down, left leg goes out, middle, middle, palm down, palm up, and there we have it, guys. Oh, my bad. See, I haven't forgotten. We got one more. We got our side swing. I'm giving you a little break. I know you're tired. Don't trip. Here we go. There we go. Bicep, two more. One, two. I'm gonna switch arms now. Bicep, bicep. There we go, switch again, straight shoulder now. Here we go, one, we'll do five reps. Two, don't forget to push the bell down, like this. This is hard work, guys, but I know you can do it. And we're gonna switch hands, up, pushing the bell down, a little bit more range of motion. You can hear me breathing heavy, right? Right. One more. And bow down. So now guys, that was a quick, easy, well, it wasn't easy, but that was a quick one and a half minutes, approximately. Look at me. Can you imagine doing this for 20 minutes? So I suggest you use the exercise, take them, do four minutes, maybe three minutes, and just build on that once or twice a week 
I would suggest two times a week to start out. Start with five minutes and then build up as your conditioning and your health gets better. Kettlebells, all day, every day.